good morning children welcome back to the social session children in the previous uh, classes we tried to understand uh, uh, some of the popular uh, upsurges during the 1946 uh, and 1945 so there was a complete unrest in different parts of india in telangana especially there was a armed struggle against to the ruler and in the travancore also there was a armed struggle by the peasants in different parts of the country many agitations were organized by the uh, provincial kisan sabhas so today we shall learn about the negotiation of power between the uh, britishers muslim league and congress the political negotiations uh, uh, between the top leaders began again in 1945 uh, the british agreed to create a, uh, an entirely indian central executive council except uh, Uh, for the viceroy and the commander in chief of the armed forces remaining all members in the executive council will be the indians so they did they did this as a first step towards uh, full independence and uh, discussions were held about the transfer of power failed uh, due to jinnah's demand that a league uh, should have an absolute right jinnah started demanding it uh, again and again that league should have absolute right to choose all the muslim members of the executive council but the demand was not acceptable to the congress and even others also uh, most nationalist muslims uh, supported uh, the congress party so the congress party consists of the uh, muslim leaders even so they did not uh, support the jinnah's uh, uh, idea of uh, it should have the absolute right to elect the muslim members and the unionist party of punjab uh, which had a large member of muslim members also did not accept to this one and uh, uh, in fact maulana azad was the leader maulana azad who is a muslim was the leader of the congress party uh, delegation of these uh, meetings so they did not uh, agreed to the jinnah's uh, demand and the negotiations failed in this uh, in 1946 elections uh, were held uh, uh, to the provincial governments to the state wide provincial there were different provinces uh, under the britisher like the uh, madras province uh, bombay province uh, united province uh, bengal province there were provinces so there were elections uh, which were held in 1946 the muslim league had won all 30 reserved seats uh, in the center and 442 out of uh, 509 seats in the provinces the league was able to establish uh, itself as a dominant party uh, among the muslim voters around uh, uh, during the period of 1946 and it wanted to represented itself as a whole uh, spokesperson of the muslims so no other party has got uh, such majority seats of uh, muslims only uh, muslim league could win majority of the seats so it had got more than 86 percentage of the uh, muslim votes in 1946 uh, the congress swept the general constituencies which are not reserved for the muslims those uh, constituencies were swept by the congress but whereas muslim reserved seats were won by the muslim league so it has captured almost 91 percentage of the non muslim vote but 86 percentage of the votes were won only by the uh, muslim league so this has brought uh, a kind of uh, domination in the indian politics uh, from the muslim side in march 1946 uh, the british cabinet has sent uh, three members mission to delhi in order to discuss uh, about the power transfer so they suggested a suitable political mechanism or a framework uh, for the indian freedom how the a transfer should take place the cabinet mission toured the entire country for 3 months and recommended a three tier confederation a three tier that means three level confederation they have uh, actually uh, recommended but but india would remain as a united they never recommended for the division of the country they had recommended that india would remain as a uh united but three level governance uh, they had recommended so all the major parties have accepted this plan first initially all major plans have accepted this plan but the agreement was uh, only short lived because the parties had a different opinion of the plan so ultimately neither the league nor the congress agreed to the cabinet mission plan so the muslims uh, the muslim league decided that its demands cannot be met through discussions they have to go for direct agitation it must uh, it asked the people to come out on the road and uh, demand on the streets so it has decided to conduct a direct action day the day is called as direct action day it was on 16th august 
that they had uh, called for a direct action day on this day on 16th august 1946 on this day riots had spread all over the country riots in the sense violence violence has uh, spread all over the country there were for several days it has continued the violence has got continued and uh, many thousands of people also died in these riots by march 1946 uh, violence spread to many parts of the country especially in the northern india and because of the mass violence uh, the congress agreed for dividing the country so the punjab into two equal halves to two halves and uh, one half was with the Muslim majority and the other with the Hindu or Sikh majority. Congress also agreed for a similar division in Bengal also for a Muslim majority and Hindu majority regions. So they had agreed and in, in February 1947 when Lord Mountbatten has taken over as the Viceroy of uh, India, he replaced Vavel. Vavel was previously the uh, Governor General of uh, the Viceroy of India. So Vavel was replaced by Mountbatten. So, he conducted, he started one last round of talks to find a solution. When these, when these talks also uh, failed, he announced that British uh, India would become freed, but also would be divided. So, when the talks got failed, he decided to divide the country, Muslim majority areas of uh, uh, Punjab and northwestern frontier province, Sindh, Baluchistan and East Bengal would be made as a new state of uh, Pakistan. That formal transfer of power uh, from Britishers, uh, uh, from British government to Pakistan would be done on 14th of August in 1947 to India. It would be done on 15th August 1947. This solution was the only uh, workable solution to the uh, year of riots, bloodshed, and hatred between the people of uh, uh, between the people which has been filled up uh, with the uh, religious uh, uh, bigotry, fundamentalistic. So what uh, has happened? between the partition and migration let us see in the next class children so until then take care